Hey guys, it's McCurvy with Ready As I Can Be, and I'm back with another video. It's my 37 week pregnancy update. 37 weeks. I'm so excited as I get closer and closer to the date. My excitement just rises even more. Like, I can't wait to meet my precious little baby boy. Oh my gosh, 37 weeks. So, as usual, I'm going to start with looking at the pregnancy app and seeing what it says um, about 37 weeks. And I have a little bit more update than that. If you remember from my 35 week video, I stated that uh, I had a doctor's appointment last week. So, a little bit of information from my doctor's appointment. And uh, as you can see, this hair diaper cake that was from the baby shower um, we had last week. So I feel like I'm sort of ready because I made it to the maternity shoot and the baby shower. That's what I was more concerned about because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm 36 weeks. The baby can come early. Imani came at 37. So I'm at 37 weeks. <laughs> Let's see what it says here. It says your baby will weigh between six and six and a half pounds this week, which we know is not correct for my baby. I'll tell you in a minute what the doctor said he weighs. Growth slows down at this point. Your baby is busy practicing for life after birth. Mm -hmm. Your little one is plumper, and if born now, your baby will not require an incubator to keep warm due to the presence of sufficient fat stores. Yeah, my baby's fat enough. <laughs> Lungs are fully developed, which means your baby would be able to breathe on its own if born now. Aww. Um, as far as my body, you may have begun to have some vaginal discharge, which is a good, which is a good thing to happen which I noticed that I'm having. It's your body's way to prepare for labor by secreting extra cervical mucus. And your baby is probably head down by now. Hmm. What else? Yeah. Uh, what else? Oh, true labor may begin with the bag of water breaking or with contractions that get longer, stronger, and closer together, together over time. Keep a stopwatch and basically calculate, you know, my contractions, if I start having contractions, which... I'm having contractions, but they go away, so and they don't get stronger, so I know it's not true labor. So yeah, so I'm 37 weeks now, and for my 36 week um, doctor's appointment, my doctor scheduled an ultrasound to see how big the baby was, just to get an idea. And um, when we got the results back, he is 8.25 pounds. Yes. 8.25 pounds. I don't remember how long he is. I don't remember the inches because I was at like eight, eight pounds. So, <laughs> so yeah, he's already eight pounds and um, yeah, my big boy, yeah, he's, he's already eight pounds. My doctor said he's not concerned. He's just going to follow up to see as how I progress through labor. If I was nine pounds, then he'd have a concern about whether or not I want to decide to go the route of C-section and so on and so forth. So we shall see when the time comes. What's, what's changed over the past two weeks? I'm still having pressure, which I've mentioned in the last two videos. But one thing I did notice um, last night, throughout the whole night, every time I got up to unit, I had a lower abdominal pain, like low, it felt like cramps. And it, I had it throughout the whole, pretty much the whole night, which hasn't happened before. So it's like, it's making me a little bit nervous. I feel like, okay, maybe this is just my body probably, maybe, maybe this is it. You know, soon, it's in a couple of days. So I really don't know what that necessarily means. And I'm trying not to play Dr. Google and Googling <laughs> stuff because, you know, that doesn't work out. It makes you paranoid, it makes you think all types of stuff. Ooh, sorry. Mm. This is real life, ladies and gentlemen. That was a contraction. Woo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it was really convenient. Oh, I'm having a lot of pressure. And um, again, the contractions, but they go away. So I know it's not true labor. But my the abdominal cramps occurring throughout pretty much the whole night has me a little concerned. Like, wait a minute, maybe this is it. You know, at some point, whatever, not so. We shall see. 
if you don't see the 39 week pregnancy update then you already know what happened <laughs> but we're just excited to meet the our little baby boy i'm going to show you my belly bump because there isn't much more to um to report and like I, and the doctor didn't say I, I thought he was gonna check to see if i was dilating but he didn't maybe because i was only 36 weeks i do see him next week and um we'll see what he says actually correction the ultrasound was done the day I turned 37 weeks. The day I thir turned 37. So it wasn't 36 weeks. Today I'm like 37 weeks, 4 days. So about 4 days ago. So, yeah. So the day I turned 37 weeks. Okay, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I had to remember that. So, so I see him next week. I'll be 38 weeks. So see if he tracks and see what happens. But I'm excited. Um, and especially the baby shower just made me even much more excited to see all the cute little baby clothes. It was so adorable. I just I have everything here in my office because I want to um, make some room in the closet before I put stuff in. Look how cute this is. And that's not all. Um, I should have put up some new outfits. I should have gotten some ready so I could show you guys. Cute. Let's just say I was like, oh my god. When I found out I was having a boy at first, I was complaining. I was like, oh my goodness. Every time I go buy clothes for Imani, there's a whole large section for girls' clothing, but there's not much in the boys' section. But oh my gosh, I got the cutest stuff from the baby shower. So I'm really excited to meet little man. Not because of that, but I'm just saying like I made it further because I've been hearing people tell me that. Um, the second baby usually comes sooner than the first baby does because of your uterus. And now I'm 37 weeks, so let's see what happens. Alright, well, that's all for the update. I'm about to get up shooting my belly shot.